Welcome to our video about the 2019 results for MBH Corporation PLC. My name is Callum Lang, I'm the co-founder and the CEO of MBH, and 2019 was our first year as a publicly listed company, and I think all of the teams in each of the subsidiaries can feel very proud of the results that we pulled together in 2019. So in the course of this very short video, I'm going to very quickly go through the numbers that uh, we've released. I'm also going to talk a little bit about what we're doing for the rest of 2020 and in the short term future. Uh, and I want to finish up a little bit talking about the values of the company that have allowed us to have such a successful 2019 and will hopefully allow us to have many more successful years in the future. Before I go into the results, I need to give the legal disclaimer. The numbers that you're looking at are not the final audited numbers. Um, the final year report will be issued on or before the 29th of May 2020. So let's hit look at the first slide. Here you can see the acquisition timeline. So the three companies that were with us when we joined, um, when we went public, were Cape, Acacia and Parenta. And then we've been joined by Dubele, Gil Prime, Geisha, KS Training, UK Sports, and we announced Samuel Hobson, but they joined us in 2020. We obviously can only account for companies, their revenue and their profits for the amount of time they're with us. But if you were to look at those companies on, on a 12 year basis, you can work out our pro forma run rate. So currently today, our pro forma run rate for all of those companies total 79 million pounds in revenue and 6.5 million in EBITDA. We did also have another company in the group, APEV, which joined us in June 2019. Um, but as you're probably aware, we decided that in the best interest of MBH shareholders, we would unwind that transaction earlier this year. So we can't account for any revenue or profit contribution that they might have made to the group. On the next slide, you can see fantastic growth in revenue in EBITDA and EBIT. Um, and what's really pleasing to see here is that a lot of this growth has come from organic growth. In the chairman's letter that I wrote when we first went public, I talked about the three drivers of value for shareholders in MBH. I talked about the accretive nature of acquisition is number one. Number two is the organic growth of the companies in the group. And number three is the synergies between those companies. Now, the biggest driver of the growth is, of course, the accretive nature of the acquisitions that we do. However, if the companies in the group are not growing organically, then that would certainly be a cause for concern. We believe that small businesses should be able to grow better and more effectively as part of a, a holding company like MBH than on their own. And it's fantastic to have seen that borne out so early on in our journey. And we're really pleased for all of the companies that have been able to win bigger contracts, been able to attract better staff because they're part of a group like MBH. So the financial summaries are great to have all green circles here. Revenues up, EBITDA's up, EBIT up. Um, and we're expecting the earnings per share to be in the, in the region of nine and a half to 10, 11 cents. Um, so it's been a fantastic year and that brings us on to the point I'd like to make around dividends. It's always been our intention as a company to return profits to shareholders. We've always mentioned that that would be the, the intention of the board. And we're very pleased to announce that we will be able to issue a dividend for 2019. I think obviously our expectations when we completed 2019 were that we had had a fantastic year, we would be able to issue quite a generous dividend. In light of what's happened in 2020 so far and with COVID, I think it would be prudent for us to still issue a dividend, but probably not at quite the same levels as we had intended. However, dividend is of course subject to shareholder approval and that will come up at the AGM at the end of May. In summary, I wanna just finish up by talking about, um, uh, so 2019 was a fantastic foundation year for us. 2020 has already started off well. Um, there are a lot of challenges with the COVID-19 pandemic that's currently sweeping the world. It's put a lot of pressure on small businesses. But for all, this, uh, for all the sad stories that we're hearing, they're also seeing some incredible opportunities. We're seeing some companies that are able to thrive. 
We're seeing companies that are pivoting and they're are doing very well because of that. And we're certainly seeing a huge increase in the number of deals that are coming to us. Companies that are recognizing that they would be stronger as part of a group like this than on their own. And that's fantastic to see. And that should give you, the shareholder, faith that we will do a number of good uh, acquisitions later this year. Um, and I just want to finish up by talking, going back to the initial chairman's letter that I wrote when we first listed and talking about the three values that I talked about because they are fundamental to everything that we do. And those three values are trust, their velocity and this collaboration. And trust is key. We're not betting on startups here. All of the companies that are in the group are at least 20 years old. The founders have been in their industry for decades um, and we trust them to carry on doing what they do. They've all been through uh, downturns before and they've survived those downturns. So we trust them to do what is best for the share shareholders. And ultimately they make up the biggest proportion of shareholders. So it's very much in their best interests to increase profit within the group. Second thing I wanna talk about is velocity. Now we've moved fairly fast. It's never as fast as we want to move but we'll continue to do deals. And as we see more deals come to us and uh, better companies, more and more companies coming to us, it gives us more options. Now, obviously we're not always gonna get it right, but I think we can clearly get it right more often than not. And that will continue to enhance the value for all shareholders. And of course we have a risk mitigation strategy which we can deploy in the worst case scenario. And thirdly, I wanna talk about collaboration. And this has been very evident in the last few months as the companies in the group have really pulled together shared best practice, shared ideas, shared solutions for how to deal with this very dynamic uh, environment that we now find ourselves in. And it's really been, uh, it's been a real privilege to watch those entrepreneurs working together and solving problems. Um, and I think if we carry on in the same vein, then we have a very, very promising future ahead of us. So 2019 was our foundation year. I think it's given us a really solid foundation. It's great that we're able to announce a dividend. It's great that the results have been so strong. And I'm really looking forward to a really exciting 2020 and beyond. If you're not already uh, registered with us on our website, please do join our newsletter or follow us on Twitter or LinkedIn. Please do email us on info at mbhcorporation.com if you have any questions and I try and put out regular content, regular videos answering any questions that we have. So I'd love to hear from you and uh, look forward to having you along with the journey for the rest of this decade.